happy Diwali all my dear friends. Today I'm going to share a almond ladoo, also known as badam ladoo. It's an Indian sweet and it's always been served in all the festivals. So if you have a sweet tooth like me, do try this recipe out. So to prepare the almonds, what I'm going to do is I have taken two and a half cup of almonds and I'm going to soak that in hot water for around three to four minutes. Once it's been soaked, I'm going to transfer into a tea towel and going to peel the skin off. My little girl decided to help me as well. So it was kind of like a fun activity. You can get the peeled almonds from stores as well. So it can save a lot of time. But personally, I found this quite therapeutic and way to spend some cooking time with my little girl as well. Once you've taken the skin off, just air dry them and blend it to make powder. Make sure you don't over blend it. So let's get started to make this yummy ladoo. I have taken a non-stick pan here. I have added one cup of water and one and a half cup of sugar. I'm going to like stir this for a minute or so and going to let this boil. So once the sugar is completely dissolved and you can see that your sugar syrup is completely ready, you're going to add one teaspoon of cardamom powder. To the sugar syrup, I'm going to add the almond powder. So as you can see, it's not very fine powder, but at the same time, it's not lumpy either. So make sure you blend this to the sugar syrup very well. To that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of milk, which is mixed with some saffron. This to enhance that flavor a bit so if you don't have saffron that's absolutely fine just add a milk a bit and we're going to add one tablespoon of ghee and mix this really well and all this time i am cooking this in a very low flame otherwise what will happen it will start to change color and you don't get that right consistency for the dough so the next step is the fun one I like. So I have transferred into a greaseproof paper and I'm going to use a rolling pin to roll this. If you don't have greaseproof paper at home, you can transfer this mixture into a plate. Just make sure you grease the plate uh, thoroughly before you transfer the mixture and just knead the dough until it becomes soft. I like this method way better than kneading with my hands. So my hands don't get like burned or at the same time it stays clean less messy so you can try this method so what i'm doing is just making sure i roll each part like thoroughly for around two minutes uh, so the dough become quite soft so i can make my yummy soft ladoos i have greased my palm with some ghee and i'm gonna take small amount of this dough I'm aiming for like a small lime sized balls and just going to make them into a round shape and going to add a small pistachio in the middle. So these are the crushed pistachios. For some extra flavor, I have actually dipped my ladoos in some coconut. This is completely optional. If you don't like coconut, just skip this part completely. So here it is, some yummy Diwali sweet almond ladoo also we call them badam ladoo it's super yummy melt in your mouth and just yum 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 as you can see i did make a big batch of ladoos and some other sweets as well which i'll post very soon and i have packed them with loads of love for my loved ones for diwali so i really hope you all will have a lovely diwali and stay safe i'll see you again with a new recipe till then bye bye